on the Climate Watch tonight. A significant milestone for an offshore wind farm near Martha's Vineyard. WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher joins us now. And Eric, the wind farm is now up and running. Yeah, David, it's now generating enough power for 30,000 homes, but that's the start. Now, 14 miles off the coast of Martha's Vineyard, with only five of the projected 62 turbines now in operation, just the beginning of what's coming online. And when all of it's completed, there's going to be enough electricity generated to power nearly half a million homes. In addition, the turbines are expected to reduce carbon emissions by more than 1.6 million metric tons per year. Now, generally speaking, the states that produce the most wind energy are the ones with the most open land. That's Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Iowa. A lot of wind there as well. For New England states to use this type of form of renewable energy, offshore wind power is the only real option. And while this pro project is on track to be successful, several others have been abandoned recently, including two large proposed installations off the coast of New Jersey and three off the coast of Massachusetts and Connecticut. So it's a good sign, but there are still quite a few hurdles. All right. Eric, thanks.